All right, good morning, y'all. Welcome to Roundhouse Ranch Barbecue. Uh, for the main event today, we are going to be doing some baby back ribs and some beef ribs. I'm going to be doing, doing them at the same time on the same smoker, and I'm going to show you how I do them. Y'all, right, we're going to start off with the beef ribs that we've got going on here. Uh, all I'm going to do for these is I'm going to take some yellow mustard just a little bit. Shake it up so we don't get that mustard juice and nothing and not the mustard. Take just a little bit of mustard. Come on, there, there it comes. A little bit of mustard. <coughs> we're we're gonna rub that around. And this is gonna act as our binder on these beef ribs. Rub it all around. Get that mustard all all on that meat. Just like that. Then we're going to take our, uh, I'll be using serendipity brisket rub today. You can use whatever type of just regular barbecue rub or beef rub you want to use. But I'll be using a serendipity brisket rub. I'm not getting paid by them or anything. It's just one of my favorites that I like to use. We're just going to sprinkle that on there. This is going to give us a nice good flavor profile. A nice good bark on this meat. You want to be liberal with it. Well, between liberal and light. Probably about like that pretty good, huh? Get it, be sure and get it on the sides too. You don't want to ne neglect those sides. Alright. Then we're going to flip it over. We're going to do the same thing. Now on these beef ribs. I'm going to leave the membranes on them. It's going to help hold them together once they get all uh, all tender and want to fall apart. It's going to, that membrane is going to help hold these ribs together. I mean, it, let's be honest. There's not a whole lot of meat down here on this bone side anyway. All right. So, yeah. And again, we'll just sprinkle just a little bit down here so the flavor can get down in there. All right. And that's all we're going to do with these. That's all we're going to do. We're going to throw them on the smoker just like that. I'll tell you what, I'm going to put a little bit more of this rub on these sides here. Yeah, there we go. Alright, and these are ready to go in the smoker. I'll set them off to the side. And we'll let them sweat a little bit, let that rub get real stuck down in there. And then they'll actually be ready to go on the smoker. Next we're going to do our pork ribs. I'll come right back to you. Alright, for these baby backs, got these ribs right here. We are going to go ahead and pull this membrane off of them. And the uh, easiest way to do that is to grab you a piece of paper towel. Your knife. Kind of slide it up under that membrane a little bit. Just to get it started, and use this paper towel to just go ahead and pull that membrane right off. Using the paper towel kind of helps you grab that membrane. All right, and we're going to do basically the same thing with these ribs that we did with the beef ribs. And put a little bit of mustard down. Just a little bit, don't take a lot. We're going to rub that in. Get it spread out so it holds on to the meat real good. All over all this good yummy meat. And then I'm going to take my barbecue chicken and pork rub. You can use whatever rub you like with it. I like this one, it gives a nice flavor and color. Just sprinkle that on there. Be sure and get it on these sides. All right, rub. I like to pat that down on in there. That's bone side down. We're good. We'll do the same thing up here on the top. Man, look at all that meat. Like I said, don't take much mustard. We're not really using it for flavor. 
We're using it for color and to help hold that beef on there. Or uh, help hold that rub on there. My bad, not beef. I don't know what I'm thinking about. Think about those beef ribs is what I'm thinking about. Mm -hmm. Sprinkle that rub up on there. You want to get a good coating of it. Trust me, these ribs can handle it. Alright, there we go. These ribs are now ready for the smoker. We're going to smoke them about 230, 230, 240 degrees. And we're going to do it for... About three hours, I'm going to use a 3-2-1 method, give or take, with both sets of these ribs. Uh, that's three hours in the smoker at 230 without wrapping them. Two hours with the wrap, still at 230. You might raise it up a little bit once it's wrapped. Uh, then one hour unwrapped again, and we're going to go ahead and glaze some sauce on these uh, pork ribs in that last hour. And we'll show you what they look like when they're done. Uh, also, I'm using a mix of oak and pecan for this today. First time I've ever used pecan. Alright, y'all sit. Alright. We are here with my baby back ribs. They have been on the smoker for about four hours, four and a half hours. And we are just going to take this foil off. And brush them with some uh, Voss Sauce Firestarter Barbecue Sauce. Woo! Look at those. And then we're going to put them back on the... Man, those smell good. Wow. I sure do wish y'all could smell that. <laughs> wow, those smell good. Alright, anyway, I'm going to quit bragging on my own uh, sauce here. On my own uh, barbecue here. And I'm just going to brush some of this Voss sauce on, on them. And then we're going to throw them back on the smoker for another 15-20 minutes. Maybe a half hour. And then they'll be ready to consume. All right, got those all sauced up. I'm fixing to go throw them back on the smoker for another 15, 20, maybe 30 minutes, and then we'll be done. Y'all sit tight. All right, we are back. I've got these baby back ribs done here, as you can see. Uh, had a little bit of a problem when I went to put them back on the smoker. They actually stuck to the foil, and they kind of... Uh, fell apart so you know I'm not perfect uh, I learned something from this put some butter or some oil or something in with the uh, foil packet so that they don't stick but they turned out okay they turned out good I'd say that's pretty much a success right there those are the baby back ribs Just absolutely beautiful let's go ahead and try a piece right here what do you say? Look at that. Gorgeous. Let's try this, see what I see what I think about the flavor profile of it, huh? Oh wow. Those? Hmm. That is a resounding success on those baby back ribs. Uh, let me just get a knife here. So I can show you exactly how tender they truly are. Take them, we'll just slice along here, cut through the bark, comes right off the bone. That's 
that's a little bit more tender than I would have liked, but like I said, I'm not perfect. They are truly fall off the bone. And since YouTube hasn't created Taste of Vision yet, he'll have to take my word for it, they're delicious. Mm -mm -mm. Man. Mm. Alright. So, baby back ribs, done. Set these over here for now. All right, and here we've got our beef ribs. I'm gonna go ahead and unwrap them. They reached an internal temperature of about 200, 205 degrees. Not really the exact temperature that I'm looking for when I mess with the beef ribs. I'm looking for when I put my probe in. I want it to feel like I'm going through soft butter. And that's what these felt like. So let's take a look and see what we got going on here. These are monsters. Unbelievable. Ah, that's hot. Alright. And we're going to let those rest for a couple of minutes. Let me see if I can get you some good close-ups here. Let's see if I can look at the size of those. Those are fantastic. All right, we'll let them rest just a little bit, and then I'll cut into them and. Uh, let you guys have a look. All right.